Hi, I'm Alex, I'm a PJ Golf Professional and here's five tips from Florida. We're at Pompano Beach Golf Club and we're gonna look at five things you must do this summer if you wanna lower your scores. Let's get into number one. First on our list is pitch shots, the scoring clubs. The last place or the last thing you wanna practice, but get this right, it's gonna help you lower scores. Whether you've chipped out the rubbish or you've hit a booming drive, use this routine. Okay. L-shaped swings. Now what I mean by L-shaped swings is swinging to this position and swinging through to this position is going to help you moderate your distances. No matter how many wedges you have, two, three, or maybe even one, use that swing. So address your golf ball, two club head widths apart in your stance, weight on your left hand side, roughly around 60-40, L-shape it back and through to hit it closer with those shorter clubs. Next on our list is swing thoughts. Now, this is a strange topic for most of us because a lot of us have far too many, right? How I want you to think about this, nice and simply, is give yourself two. One for the backswing, one for the downswing, because that way you can own them. You don't have to feel as though you're dot to dot on your golf swing. So I'll give you mine. My example here is really feel I'm wide on the way back and my belt buckle to target on the way through just to simply help me get through the shot. Right, now this is some shot, right in Miami. Let's see if we can hit the green. So simply, two things to think about over the ball. Let's move on to the next. T height, right? We just wanna know what is correct because when you're buying your tees, there's so many options. You could go plastic, you could go wooden, you could go castle tea. And then in castle teas, you've got your pink, you've got your orange, you've got your gray. How do you get it right? Okay, so no matter if you're using a wooden tea peg or those castle tea pegs, what I like to see is, and what I really recommend is, half a golf ball above the face. So when I'm teeing it up like this, I look for when I place my driver down behind, just half a ball to be above that face. Now, this is for good measure. It's one of our lowest lofted clubs, and we want to encourage an upwards hit. So having it teed up at that height helps you find the center and helps you hit up on the golf ball. So when you're next teeing it up, or if you're buying some new tee pegs, just make sure you're comfortable with that ball, half a ball above the face. That's what I recommend for all driver tee heights. Right, here we go. This one requires a bit of a fade. We do not want that one back. Let's get on to the next. Next on our list is club selection, right? Golf is hard enough without having to worry what club you're gonna use. So use this three-step process. Number one, find out how far it is. Now, whether you use a laser, handheld GPS, or a watch, get your number. So I got 172 to the flag. Next, work out your wind. Is it hurting? Is it helping? Because that's gonna affect your club selection. If it's generally hurting, you might wanna go a club more. If it's helping, you can go a club less. Now finally, we're lying perfect on a par three tee here, but if it's not lying great, either in the rough and it's not in the fairway, that's gonna affect your club selection. So take that into account too. This way, you can definitely hit more greens using the right club. Before you go out and play next time, I want you to prepare yourself for your round. So some pressure puts. Also, holding these is gonna build some confidence. We've got a one foot, two foot, and three foot putt. Now, these might seem very close, but missing these in the golf course is frustrating. It's also gonna be absolutely card wrecking. So have these on the golf course before you go out. Make the first put a par put. The next put a three point or birdie put. You're emulating the pressure you're gonna feel when you have to take that put out on the golf course. Try this now before you go out and play. Thanks so much for watching. Get down in those comments and let us know which tip is gonna help you most this summer. See you soon.